So, moving on from our bits and pieces, um, we're now at the point where we're looking at the steering yoke, where it goes up in the um, bike, and we can have the top yoke and the bottom yoke. So it kind of like goes like that. Ooh. One goes on the top, one goes on the bottom. So it's there from there. So um, I'll just cut these off because that's where we've got to now. Got to these parts. I know where they are. Now what it is is um, the steering yoke doesn't have any uh, bearings as such. It runs on ball bearings. So I suppose if you're looking for something it's always better to look in the envelope that tells you where it is. Headstock ball bearings top. So let's see if I can get them out. So these are the ball bearings as you can see. I think there's 24 of them in each of the, uh, the top and the bottom yoke and uh, I'll be fitting them when uh, when I get round to it. But first of all what I've got to make sure is when I mean, the ball bearings sit in there and there's a, a, a the opposite of this is on the the actual headstock of the frame and they sit in the top in there and again on there and so it all goes together kind of like that with the ball bearings ball bearings in between the two but we'll get round to that a bit later on so there's not a great deal to do in relation to the headstock it is just been resprayed and it literally just has lots of holes and bits and pieces so that they, um, they everything bolts on and we'll get round to that when we get to a bit further along the line. What I am doing though before I start is this is the nut. Ooh. Let's see if the camera can pick it up nice and sharp. This is the nut that holds everything together and it goes on there. But the threads, I'm just in the process of just cleaning the threads up to uh, make sure that when we oil and grease them they won't cause any bother. And I'm just using this old wire brush that I find is, is it's a bit jiggered and it's a bit worn. But it's ideal for just getting through the threads and making sure that they are um, nice and clean. So I'll just go clean them up for a while. So let's have a trial fit and see if we can um, get the thread to go onto the top of the nut and as easy as it can be. Oh look at that. Superb eh? So what I will do just to make sure that everything's fine and dandy we'll put some um, copper slip on it. It's good stuff this copper grease. We just put a little bit on so that if we do ever need to take it off then we'll be able to do so without causing us any bother. Let's have a look. Oh listen to that. Superb. Birds chirping away in the background, even they like it. There we go. We'll just give it a quick wipe. Get rid of the excess. Check. Can you see it? 
just coming off really, really nicely. Yeah, lovely. Just leave it on there so I don't lose it. So, also, there's two uh, nuts that hold, go on through here. And that's where the forks will go when they come through. So when we get around to putting the forks on, they'll kind of like go in through that and then we'll clamp them down. In through that, clamp down that. And then they'll marry up at the top. And what I did when I was uh, doing the, the makeup, the um, make sure I had everything, um, uh, I made sure that all the, the threads were cut nice and clean and tidy and some bolts were there and got the spring washers on. So the next thing is, let's pause it there while I have my tea. Okay, so <clears throat> I spoke about earlier how the top and bottom yoke is going to go into here. But inside here is where the ball bearings will sit inside there. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just getting a bit of uh, wire wool and just making sure that there's no muck or paint overspray or anything that would upset the ball bearings on there and cause them to wear a bit more. So it's just a matter really of just getting a bit of wire wool and rubbing it round, making sure that it's as clean as you can get it. Um, so that it's nice and done. And likewise on the top, just getting a bit again a bit of wire wool, um, just making sure that where the ball bearings sit, where the paint spray, and I'm putting this round to protect the paint while I grab hold of it. Uh, just making sure that it's all nice and clean and tidy and there's nothing that's going to cause any undue wear on the ball bearings so that when we come to put them on everything's as clean as it can possibly be because the last thing we want really is for there to be notches or when you're doing the steering wheel you know something causing it to uh, not not be quite right I know bantams don't go fast but at least you want it to be safe so just to get in and get right into the nooks and crannies that are in, inside here um, I've got myself one of these little Dremels with a, a really rotary wire brush on. They're quite good, so uh, I'm just going to put the Dremel in and just clean out the, uh, the nooks and crannies as best I can. So my granddad had a saying, um, which my dad told me, which was work clean. So I've just had a bit of a tidy up around the, where all the bits and pieces and got rid of all the ancillary tools. So the next thing that we should be looking at really is seeing if we can get the uh, yoke fitted into there. And we'll see how we go. So as you can see, I've got it all masked up now. So I'm going to be taking some... Uh, wire wool, emery cloth and then uh, the Dremel again just in there to get it all nice and clean and tidy ready for the ball bearings to go on. So it's um, causing a lot more bother than I thought really. The uh, This paint I thought it would be easy to get off but this really is quite thick so I'm having to revert to the good old-fashioned way of getting a blunt little so jiggered screwdriver and scratching it off as much as I can and uh, I'll see how we get on. So. I've been scratching away with my little screwdriver and I think I've got most of the paint off. Um, now what I need to do is I'm just going to polish it up using the Dremel and let's see how good it, we can get it, get the finish to.
there you go. I don't know if the camera can see it, but uh, it's a lot, lot better than it was. And it's nice and clean. They're amazing, these uh, Dremel tools. I use probably not used, supposed to be used for what, half of the things that I use it for, but it seems to work for me. Okay, I'll stop it there for now. So, where did we get to? Um, we've now got that clean. We now know that the top one's clean. We know that the ones on the actual motorbike itself, on the frame, they're nice and clean. So it's a matter really of, uh, let's have a trial fit and just see what does 24 ball bearings on a, a greased um, yoke thing. It's got a, a nice little, I don't know if you can see it there, uh, concave fitting where the ball bearings fit into. Um, so because I'm using grease, I don't want to muck all over me as much as I can. So let's put some grease on. And what this grease will do two things. A, it will lubricate everything and B, it should hold the ball bearings on. So I just want to see what 24, 3 sixteenths, whatever that is in metric, um, ball bearings look like when they're put on this little holder. So I'd already counted these ball bearings out. Um, so I bought, let's see what if we can get them to go on. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, ooh, ooh get in there. Ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, whoa, getting close. Actually takes 25 either that or a miscounted so I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but there you go that's what oh, 24 little ball bearings look like so let's put some grease on the top yoke in a minute and um, Let's see if we can get that to stick on there. So, I'll turn it off while I turn the camera over there and let's have a look. So we'll get some grease and uh, let's put some on. And just see, I've never done this before, but it looks relatively simple to do. And that's the thing about bantams, isn't it? Really, is when you then you don't need a lot of special special tools, and also it's a bit agricultural engineering, really, um, um, to see how it goes. Agricultural engineering, meaning of course, it's quite old-fashioned. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It's 1953 odd thing. So. Here's the bearing, the grease is holding the, the actual ball bearings in all right. Let's turn it upside down, see if we can get it in. Yeah. 
Hey, hey. You never know. It's actually working. Look at that. <laughs> First time I'd ever done that. And it's working nice. Well, look at that. That's superb. Well greased up and done. Well, that's the first one done. So what we'll try now is um, do it to the other one, pull the two together, tighten them up, and let's see how we go. Right, so I won't bore you with greasing up that one because you've watched me grease up that. So bear with me while I do it, then I'll bring the two together and we'll do it from there. So I'll just turn it off for now. Okay, right, so what we're going to try and do now is we're going to take the yoke, the bottom yoke, put it up through the middle, nice and gingerly without knocking the top uh, ball bearing race out, bring it onto the top, bring the top yoke onto that and then tighten up the nut to stop it from falling out and then let's see how that all that goes. So here's the bottom yoke and I don't know if you can see whether it will pick it up that it's all got the ball bearings on held in by the grease just like before. So here we go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Whoa, nope. Ball bearings have fallen out. Oh, disaster. No, nope, something went drastically wrong there. It's the first time I've ever done this, so let's see. That's a disaster. Still a few old ball bearings sat, sat in the wheel race. I wonder if it's better to put them in there and bring that one up. I could try that. Let's try that. And see, the trouble is if I do that and then you drop, I'm going to lose them around here, aren't I? So I need to do something to catch them. So bear with me, and I'm going to put a towel or something down there to catch the ball bearings. So I've got a towel, put it on. Now let's see if it makes any difference. I'll put them there, see if we can get them off. Okay. Let's see if it works. As I said before, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's supposed to be done. All it says on the book is that put 24 of these ball bearings into the wheel race and see how it goes. So, good thing that they're all covered in grease, they don't, they don't seem to be rolling anywhere. But we can only try, can't we? Trial and experiment. Ooh. And see. really is a difficult fiddly thing to do. Oh, I've got upside down. Oh, touch wood, 
seems to be all right but I can't see to do the last half dozen or so because I stuck right around there Just trying to get them in and the grease seems to be holding them in place. Okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be any spaces in relation to them now. I can't really show you them in that respect. But I'll see if I can take a still photo and see if they work. see right well here we go again that must have been the trick right so what did I do with the there it is let's get the top on oh, no. it's painted up I never felt to try and get it on in the threads, I don't want that to happen. Let's take it off. <laughs> right, but what happened was that the gap there, it's it just a bit too more so I'm going to have to separate it up a little bit which isn't going to be too hard really, I'll just put a screwdriver in there and just open it up a little bit and then bring that on and then hopefully that'll be it. So just bear with us while I try and do that. Them threads, just catching them in the paint. So let's have a go.
Oh, look at that, eh? Look at that. It's not going down anymore. Look at that! Hey! Is that not superb? Oh yes! Oh, touch wood. Seems to be all right, but I can't see to do the last half dozen or so. Because I stuck right round there. Hmm. 
I'm getting there. Just trying to get them in and the grease seems to be holding them in place. Okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be any spaces in relation to them now. I can't really show you them in that respect. But I'll see if I can take a still photo and see if they work. See? Right, well, here we go again. That must have been the trick. Right. So what did I do with the there it is? Let's get the top on. Oh no. It's painted up. I never felt to try and get it on. Triggering the threads, I don't want that to happen. Let's take it off. <laughs> right, but what happened was that the gap there, it's it just a bit too much, so I'm going to have to separate it up a little bit, which isn't going to be too hard really, I'll just put a screwdriver in there and just open it up a little bit, and then bring that on, and then hopefully that'll be it. So just bear with us while I try and do that. There's probably some special tool that you're supposed to do for this, but a good old hammer and a screwdriver do each other well, they're good.
a little bit too tight. Let's open it up a bit more. Almost there. Not nipping the threads, just catching them in the paint. So let's have a go. anymore. Look at that. Hey! Is that not superb? Oh yes. Oops, missing that. Catching that one. Missing that. Sorry, I'm not going to be bothered about that. Right, before I nip it up, I need to make sure to find out. I can't remember whether we should have a washer on there. So I'll just stop it, go have a look at the book, and I'll come back to you. 